Hey guys and welcome back. I hope you're all well. So if you haven't guessed by the title already, I am going to be sharing with you what's new in Poundland and also don't forget to stay till the end where I'll share with you a small haul of a few things that I picked up. I didn't pick up everything that was new because I really don't need everything but there is lots of new and exciting things in there so I had to share them with you guys. I know you like these kinds of videos but also I want to know what you actually do enjoy watching on my channel and what you want to see in the future. Your opinions are really important to me and I value your feedback and also listen to it and take it on board just so I can continue to make videos that not only I enjoy filming but that you really like watching as well. So I tend to do polls on my community page but I would love to know in the comments down below as well even if it's just one word on what sort of topic you like to watch from me. So let's stop rambling now and get right into the come shop with me part and then I'll share with you what I picked up at the end. Ends. Now let's get into what I picked up. I just mainly got a few things that I always buy from there and then um, a couple of things that were new. If you haven't seen my top 10 Poundland buys, so things that I always buy in Poundland, I will link that video down below. So first of all, this bag I actually picked up quite a few months ago. They had it in back in February 
for Valentine's Day and I'm pretty sure they've still got this shopper. It's the Let's Avo Cuddle bag. I really like this bag, it's so pretty and it's really useful because it is a shopper so you can reuse it again and again. But they do have lots of different and amazing shoppers in there as well as canvas ones. I know they've got lots of Disney canvas bags but I like this size because you can fit lots in here. So the first thing I got was these garment cover bags. I think actually there's only one in here. Um, but I find these really useful for storing away clothes from autumn and winter when I've got all my spring and summer clothes out. I just like to pack them away neatly. And I have one with my winter trousers in, then winter jumpers and things like that. And I section them all off and then they're just nice and neatly stored away and ready to get out at the end of the summer. I've never actually seen these garment bags in here. I do have a lot of mine are from Ikea, so I thought I would give this one a go. I like the fact that it's black so it fits in with our decor nicely, and if this is a really decent bag, I will probably go and get a couple more just so they all match together. Then I got another one of the clip lock containers. This is the round one. You may have seen me mention these before and I also featured the different shape ones because they have so many different sizes and shapes in my Poundland fridge organisation video. These round ones are useful for storing rice, quinoa, noodles, anything like that. I'm actually going to store Ben's protein powder in this one but I do like the fact that they come in different colours now. So there's the blue which is the original and they did have some red ones I would say last year I think and now they've bought in yellow and pink and I really do like the yellow in our kitchen so I'm slowly transferring all of them to this yellow colour. I will be making a video soon about my morning routine because I have a completely updated morning routine that I've been doing for about a year now and one of the things I like to do is write morning pages or scripting. I do need lots of pens because this obviously involves writing. So you've seen me share this three pack of pens that I always buy from Poundland. They're really nice pens to write with, but I had used up all three of them recently and I couldn't find them again. So I decided to pick up this double pack from Zebra. And and I just thought they had a really nice pattern on them. They're a bit like a marble with gold and one is a pale pink and one is white but they are black ink so I'll see how these go. I still will pick up the other ones when they have them back in stock. So lastly I have a few beauty things. I'm still enjoying most of the Poundland skincare. I've nearly finished it all up now so I will be showing that in a product empties video and sharing with you my final thoughts on everything that I used. But I did notice that Jess Wright, who's, um, if you don't know who she is, she was in TOWIE. I'm not sure if she's still in it, but she is the sister of Mark Wright. She has just bought out a collection of beauty products. And there was a couple I think that I featured in the Come Shop With Me bit. But the two products that caught my eye the most were... First of all, these tanning wipes. These are the tanning wipes with vitamin E. They are the medium shade, you get 20 in here. They're also vegan and not tested on animals. And it says the gradual tan develops within three to six hours. So the reason why I wanted to get these wipes, I did recently do a video, it was probably the last video that you saw on how to fake tan with different skinny tan products and I have been really enjoying using them but in between when the colour starts to fade I wanted to use a wipe just to top the colour up so I'm going to see how good these are and I'll probably let you know in an Instagram story if these are worth picking up. Then the other just right thing is this tissue face mask with vitamin C. This 
hydrates to leave your skin looking brighter and more even. This says leave on for 15 minutes for healthy looking beautiful skin. So you obviously know I love a sheet mask and I like trying out new ones. So I will let you know how I get along with this one. Then speaking of sheet masks, I picked up another one of the Poundlands ones. Just because I haven't properly made my mind up on what I think of them, I did really enjoy using the one in the video where I shared with you the new hashtag six products that came out recently but I do think I need to use a good couple more just to see if they do really make any difference to my skin. If you want to know more about these and also the new products from the hashtag six collection then I'll link that video down below and also the original one with the original six products as well and there I do demos and I explain about each product. Then the other sheet mask that I saw that was new was from the Derma V10 brand. Now every sheet mask that I've tried from this brand has been really impressive and this one caught my eye just because it's a llama on the front of it. So it says it's a no drama llama printed sheet mask. This is a coconut one and it's enriched with coconut oil and aloe vera to help leave your skin soft, smooth and more radiant. Lastly, speaking of sachets, I grabbed a couple more of the foot packs. I would say from Poundland, the tea tree and peppermint one is my favourite. They also do these in home bargains. They are actually a little bit cheaper in there and they do do a lot more different ones. But from Poundland, this is the one I enjoy the most. And if you haven't heard about these before, I'm sure I've done a demo of these over on my Instagram. But these are so good if you're going out that night and you want your feet to look really nice and moisturised. They're perfect for just popping on. You just wear them for 20 minutes. And after Afterwards, I always find my skin looks really good on my feet because it's really nice and hydrating. And an update also on the foot, the exfoliating foot pack that I used. This was terrible. I'm gonna tell you now, it was terrible. My feet have only just recovered from peeling. I wanna say it's been about three months since I used that. I did put up the video not that long ago, but I had used it quite a while before that. And my feet, well, they're still peeling a little bit now, but oh my goodness, I was not feeling that at all. I'm definitely gonna stick to these foot packs. These are so much more convenient and quick. The other one was just such a long process and although my feet look okay now, it just wasn't a good look while they were peeling all that time. If you do want to check out that video and you haven't seen it, then I will put that down below as well. So guys, that is it. Thank you so much for watching and give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I will now look forward to seeing you in my next one. Don't forget to let me know what you want to see in the future with regards to videos. And also if you are not part of the PBB community and family, don't forget to subscribe if you like these kinds of videos. Have a great rest of the weekend guys. I hope you're all having a good bank holiday if you're here in the UK. And if you're not, I hope you're just having a lovely weekend anyway. Take care guys, bye.